Once upon a time, in a bustling city filled with towering minarets and colourful bazaars, there lived a kind and gentle boy named Ahmed. Ahmed was a curious boy, always eager to learn about the world around him. One day, he asked his grandmother, Nana, why do we celebrate Ramadan? With a warm smile, Nana began to explain, Ahmed, Ramadan is a special time for us. It is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar and is considered one of the holiest months for Muslims around the world. But why is it so special, Nana? Ahmed asked, his eyes wide with curiosity. Nana replied, During Ramadan, we fast from dawn until sunset. This means we do not eat or drink during daylight hours. It is a time for us to reflect, to be grateful for what we have, and to think about those who are less fortunate. Ahmed thought for a moment, then asked, But Nana, isn't it hard to not eat or drink all day? Nana chuckled softly. Yes, it can be challenging, Ahmed, but that's part of the lesson. It teaches us patience, self-discipline, and empathy for those who are hungry and thirsty every day. It's not just about fasting from food and drink, but also from bad habits and negative thoughts. Ahmed nodded, beginning to understand. So, it's a time for us to become better people? Exactly, Ahmed, Nana said, her eyes twinkling. And at the end of each day, when the sun has set, we break our fast with a meal called iftar. It's a time for family and friends to come together and share in the blessings of the day. Ahmed's face lit up at the mention of iftar. He loved the delicious meals his mother prepared, filled with dates, lentil soup, and his favorite, samosas. And don't forget, Nana added, Ramadan is also the month in which the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad. So we spend extra time praying and reading the Quran. Ahmed felt a sense of awe. Ramadan sounds really important, Nana. Yes, Ahmed, Nana replied. It is a time of deep spiritual growth, a time to purify the heart, and a time to help others. From that day forward, Ahmed embraced Ramadan with a new understanding and appreciation. He learned to love the peaceful early mornings before Fajr, the quiet moments of prayer, and the joyous gatherings at Iftar. He discovered the beauty of patience, the strength in self-discipline, and the joy of giving. And so, every year, when the crescent moon announced the arrival of Ramadan, Ahmed would remember his grandmother's words and look forward to the holy month with a heart full of gratitude and love. And in this way, the spirit of Ramadan lived on, not just in Ahmed, but in every heart that welcomed the holy month with kindness, patience, and generosity.